Okay, so with a jumpy focus and a dodgy mic, what I'm going to try and do is show you how to install the Mesa port for Minecraft Pocket. So this will work for any texture pack as well. Um, as well, but there you go. So we're going to need a couple of apps um, just to make life easy. They're both free. So the first one you're going to have to get is Astro File Manager Browser. Okay. So. Uh, Go and grab that from the Play Store, that's free. And the second thing you'll need is Zip Signer 2, which is also free. And you'll need that for uh, signing your uh, app once we've finished messing around with it, basically. So, um, I'm going to start off clean with nothing on there and um, just the standard Minecraft Pocket installed. Okay, move that down a bit. There we go. Right. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to use Astro. And to be fair, you could use any app for this, but you know it's free. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the application backup feature. Okay. And we're just going to scroll down your list, looking for Minecraft Pocket. It's in here somewhere. Too many apps. That's my problem. There we go. So we uh, check the box and click backup, and that will back up the app so that we can edit it. So now that's backed up, it'll be in a folder called. You can use any file manager for this part, but um, to be honest, we want to use Astro to actually get into the app without unpacking it or anything silly. So you'll see a new folder, which is backups. Go in there and you see apps. Go in there and you'll see Minecraft Pocket. Well, that, that is the backup, okay? Now at this point, I recommend copying, copying and pasting to the same folder, but rename it. So that if you go wrong, my big fat fingers, M C P E dash backup. Okay. Right. Now I'm not going to. I'm just going to use that one if anything goes wrong. So. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just have a look, at least, so you click on it and browse file, right? And you'll see in here there's a number of files. One of them is assets. Inside assets, you have all of these. Main one here is terrain. So that's the main file, but we're going to replace a load more than that. So what I'm going to have to do is click and hold the assets folder and delete it. Okay. So basically, we've just deleted the entire assets folder from inside this app. So now we're going to quit this and get our trusty memory stick. Can't really see that. Or just open up your file transfer if you've already got that open. So there we go. And have a look at the SD card. I've already got it set to go to backup apps okay so it'll chuck it in the right place for me and in here in transferred I already have the assets folder so we're gonna check that one and copy it across so over it goes okay so that's done so having a look down to the backups folder you don't need to check it but I'm just you know may as well it's a walkthrough video open it up and there you have it so currently we have the backup that was original the backup of the backup if you will we've already removed assets from here so now we need to put this assets folder we just copied from the memory stick into this app so everything's in place now so we go into Astro and this takes a lot less time when you've done it a few times. So, you know, it only takes a few minutes. And as you can do it all on your phone slash tablet, it's uh, no big deal. 
So I'm going to go into manage. I'm going to go into backups and go into apps. We're going to hold the assets folder and copy. And then we're going to go into the pocket version that we deleted the assets from and paste. There we go. Just check that that is done by clicking and clicking. And it'll say, oh, what should we do? Astro Image Viewer, yeah, sure. And as you can see in the bottom right corner, that's for Pocket. Okay, normally it would say Mises with the download MC patcher, but uh, that doesn't apply. Okay, so there's a few other differences, but that's the biggest one, and you can spot it real quick. So that means we've done everything right. So now we can quit this and go into Zip Signer 2. This is really easy. It wants an input, and then it tells you what it's going to call it. So, choose in. It will be that one. Pocket 3007. God, you can't really see this very well. Let's see, let's go back there then. So, you're going to pick the one that we've just edited. And then choose a file name for this. So, I call it mcpe dash Mesa dash 0.3.0 but you can really call it anything you want it's just a file name it's just you know if you're going to make a lot of these you may as well name them so um yep yeah, so uh, sign the file okay that's done Okay, and one of the biggest pe things that people forget to do is obviously you can't install a program that's already installed. So, we're going to have to go into the Play Store, or however your phone does it, I find this to be the easiest way, um, and just search Pocket Edition, and then click on the page where you got it from, and uninstalls right there. There's loads of different ways of doing it, but I've done this so many times, I find this to be the quickest way. Okay, now it's uninstalled. I'm going to do it with a different file manager, just, you know, you don't have to use Astro, I'm going to use this one. It really doesn't matter which one you use. Go into Backups, Apps, and as you can see, now you have three. Now, one of them is MCP, because I named it, one of them is MCPE MISA 0.3.0 Pocket, okay? Uh, signed, rather. So we're going to click on that, and it'll come out saying, do you want to install this? We're going to say, yeah, we do. Off it goes with my dodgy focus. I hope you can make this out because it's going to be an HD and it's going to be out of focus. Come on, you crazy camera. No, it's not having it. Anyway, point is you've installed it now, so let's open it and see what happened. And as this has been one long cut, this is going to be fun because... Oh, there it was. There we, oh, yeah, there it is. Right. So, let's have a quick look. Now, you can see my levels are actually still here. So, even though you uninstall and reinstall, it does seem to keep the uh, game data. So, okay, this is going to be dodgy because this is a camera on a screen in the dark. Right, here we go. So as you can see, we've got the waters working fine. There's all the different blocks. Um... There you are. Enjoy.